Everybody here bringing you a tutorial on uh switches I guess no not switches um uh, more or less triggers that go like here I'll need to show you it's so much easier if I show you wait this is an example See, it's dark in there right now, and when I walk in, it's gonna, the lights that don't exist, really, click on, and then there's light in the room, and then whenever you get out of the area, it goes off. Now, since I, I've done this because I'm, the map I'm making is based very much off of light. At the moment, it's not very dark in here, but as soon as I get the visual areas in, it will be extremely dark. And only small lights will be there to help you guide your way through the area. Okay. Now, I'll drag over the flow graph and let you see it. Here we go. Now, this is for the lobby, this area right there. Then all of this, well not all of this, but this right here is for the, the bathroom. It is a game start output connected to an enable. The leave is to a five point to a half second delay. And the it goes from leave to end, delay of five at point five seconds. Then it goes to the disables on to the disable on both of the entity lights. The enter goes to the enables, and yeah, I'll show you how to make it. Um, let me find an area. I'll just go. Let me do it in. I'll do it outside. Whatever. It's too hard to see in here. First, you want to go to area, shape, then draw your shape. Double click to finish it. How the heck? No, I want that to be even. And then raise the height of it to whatever height that you want. So let's say I want to raise it to 16. And I'm gonna click off the grid right there. You make sh make sure that you have it in the ground a little for this, because if you don't, it won't trigger. It doesn't work if your uh, feet aren't in it for some reason. I don't know if it's something I was doing wrong, but every time I've tested it in the building over here, which does not look anywhere near completion, um, it doesn't work if your feet aren't in it. So drag it down to the ground. Then you need to add an entity, triggers, area trigger, put it somewhere in your box thing. I'm going to center it. So yeah. Hold on. I can do this. Is that centered? Yeah. Okay, good. Drag it up a little. And then go to your, click on your shape, then go down to shape parameters, target, pick, and then pick the area trigger. It'll link those two. And once you have that, you want to go to your entities again, then add your light. I'm going to make just one really bright light. No, two bright, bright, eh, bright lights. So let's kick up the radius and let's kick up the HDR. There we go. 
And now you want to go into your flow graph. You can do that by clicking on the view, open view pane, and then flow graph. I already have it open. Let me drag it over from my other monitor. And then once you have that open, go back into your level. I'm going to do it from the side and click on your, no, I'm not. It's, Control click on your light, your area trigger, and your other light. Go back into your flow graph and right click and add the selected entity. It'll add everything that you selected to the level. And then what you want to do from there is drag them apart. And it's as easy as dragging the enter to enable on both of them and wait what is it doing okay there it goes and then the leave to disable on both of them drag that back Hold on that. take a look at it I will maybe crop and pan this it depends and Okay, now that you've looked at it, I guess, you can pause it if you need to. I'm going to go back into the game. I'm going to click on my lights again. Go to the entity properties right here. And then click the active state to false. And now when I start, it should kick on when I enter the area. Yep. And when I leave, it kicks off. Once again, I'll show you the example that I have set up. I've got the, uh, oh, wrong bathroom. I've got the two lights right here. I have the area trigger connected to a shape right here. And when you enter that area, it kicks on. like so <laughs> thank you for watching killing for money signing out